Uh, the trafficking of women uh, is not only in Iraq, it's everywhere. Because all, there's been a shortage of labor because um, all the countries which have allegedly developed technologically have done so at a, a high cost, which is uh, you know, the atomization of the extended family structure. So you find that people are becoming rich, but they're becoming rich without relatives. You know. They no longer have the extended families. They have nuclear families. So now if you have a wife and, and kids, um, you know, and you, you, you have nobody to help out at home, you need uh, you know, the washing machine and whatever, but it, it doesn't work itself. Somebody has to work there. So now Africa has become a big labor market for uh, domestic workers. And the domestic work industry doesn't have protections or legislation right now. Uh, okay, there is some, but all across the world, domestic workers are seen as a sort of an unorganized sort of uh, guild. You know, there is no, uh, uh, there is no barriers to entry. You don't have to have any training. To become a domestic worker, you just have to be a human being who can turn up and, and can walk around and, and clean the carpet if they tell you. So it's low skill labor uh, thing. But it's extremely dangerous that we have no regulations for it. There has to be. There has to be some, all over the world really, there has to be a mechanism to recognize domestic workers the same way we do doctors, the same way we do, uh, I don't know, engineers. It has to be a profession like any other where there are uh, you know, restrictions on how you can get in and out. And when we do that, we will be able to register people properly and then monitor how they're getting used and where they're going and how they're getting paid. Domestic workers are going to all the Arab countries, not just Iraq uh, and, and uh, uh, Persia as well. Uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, Oman, Yemen, uh, uh, even across the border here, South Africa and, and, and everywhere else, you know, and, and North America, Canada and the U.S. They're yeah, taking a lot of people from here. It's, in Uganda, it's called Cheyo. Is it not? And how long has it been going on? Well, yeah, when slavery ended, then they did uh, domestic, uh, you know, what you call serfdom or whatever, servitude, where, you know, people are, are still required to do labor. But they're not enslaved, allegedly. But this is the problem. It's a continuation of the, 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 the attempt to solve the labor problem in the world. The technology hasn't caught up. We don't have robots yet that are going to do this labor. Uh, you know, and, and even when we do, they will still need switching on and off, maybe. Yeah, you need, you need a stand by a human being to, to do certain basic tasks. So this is the problem, that the social organization around the world is fractured right now. Families are unstable, they're small. Uh, the lifestyle we need to live, the people are accustomed to requires domestic labor. And as long as that is the case, it's going to go on until we put the rules in place to regulate how it's done. There have been attempts and there's some work that's being done in terms of, of this, but you have to remember uh, the U.S. is grappling with that, illegal immigrants. They're all coming and they're going to do domestic work or field work. They're going to, to harvest tomatoes in the big plantations and they're going to go and do babysitting for the rich people who cannot afford to have babysitters, uh, you know, who are American. They want uh, immigrants because they're cheaper. Uh, and uh, as long as we have unemployment uh, around the world, we're going to continue having a big pool of people, especially women, who are going to want to go to do this work and who are in demand. Of course, when they do get into these situations, because they have no legal protections in many cases, or they're inadequate protections, they're going to get abused. Uh, abuse can be of any kind. It could be sexual, it could be psychological, or it could be something like as simple as, I will not pay the person once they are done work. So, yeah, especially if they have arrived illegally. So what's happening is that a lot of these people, when they go abroad, when their, their, their time comes up and they're no longer employable, 
that means their visa or the contract is finished, then they hide and become illegal, illegals in those countries and they start doing prostitution. And then uh, prostitution, of course, is a criminal act in many countries. What happens is regulated by gangsters who provide the safe house where these people will hide. Sometimes the passports or papers of these people are expired or taken by somebody. So, so the money that they collect even uh, in these jobs is given back to the pimp, the person who's looking after them or keeping their papers or, uh, or paying the police off or whatever. So it's, it's not a good situation here. I, I think there has to be, there are conferences around the world to try and resolve these things and I think governments are trying but there needs to be more effort. It's not just Iraq, it's, it's all over the world, yeah. Well let me hear you say mountain, mountain.